Hello, I welcome you all. The problem is allocate the centroid y bar over the beam's cross sectional area. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, 13th edition by RC Bella. So, this is a composite beam. So, what we are going to do is for us to determine the centroid y bar, this is going to be equal to the summation of the local um the local centroidal locations for the two so i'm going to divide this into two pieces i'll have this one here this rectangle horizontal and this vertical uh area or a shape area or rectangle so i'll have two shapes there so i'll sum them up then times the, their areas okay all right then divided by the summation of uh area so this is basically the formula that we're going to use okay so let's do so uh quickly let's divide this for me i'll divide them like i said into two areas uh so i'll have this one i'll have this one Okay, and then I'll have also another one. Okay. All right. Like so. So let's call this one here one. And we call this one two dimensions are already there i call this one two so this one will have this local centroid here and the other one there so let's start with um this one so we do have this local centroid um like so this one is our local centroid for this one and then we do have another one which is that one there that's a centroid for the second one all right something like that okay there we go so this becomes I'm going to call this y killed to which is just equal to half of 300 and then this one is y curled 1 and this equal to 300 plus half of 50 so this just becomes equal to 325 this one is just equal to 150 so I'll draw a table here. I'll draw a table. So this table is going to have how many columns? So I will have part number, part, what else? And I'll have um area. Okay. Then I'll have um, um we'll start with or y bar then area and this okay so one two three four all right so this is okay let's do so so let's draw that something like that one two that's a heading and here so where we are feeding it and then we have the summation down there like so okay so we have patch then we have uh one two i'm gonna make them a bit large maybe three like so three like so like that great i think this is good enough
Okay, this is good enough. So here we have patch, okay, then we have Y, Keld, and uh, this one is in uh, millimeters. Okay, then we have area, this one is in millimeter squared. And then we have uh, Y area, and this one is in millimeter to the power 3. So we have two parts, part 1 and part 2. This one is going to be the summation. So Y1, we said here is uh, 325, right? Mm -hmm. The other one is 150. Then area, well, the first one is 50 by 300, that's area 1. Okay. So area 1 is equal to 50 by 300. So this just becomes 15 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, area 2 uh, is equal to um, this is also 50, right? Uh, we have 300 by 15. We have the same area, that is 15, 10 to the third. Is that so? 50 by 300. Okay. That is 15 by 10 to the third. And also that one is 15 by 10 to the third. Then once we multiply this part there, so we are multiplying this by this. Okay. Let's do so. So 3.5 by 15. So this gives us a form 875, 4875 times 10 to the 8, okay, then 115 by, so this gives us a 2250 times 10 to the 8, and we have area here, this is just 13 times 10 to the third. Then we add the other one, 4875. So this gives us 7125 to the third. So we said Z bar, uh, not Z bar, Y bar. Uh, y bar is just equal to uh, summation of y count a divided by summation of area. Therefore, the summation there just becomes the 7125 times 10 to the third divided by uh, 30 uh, 10 to the third. Therefore, our y bar just becomes equal to uh, 237.5 okay millimeters right mm -hmm. 237.5 right somewhere around 300 maybe somewhere here i think it makes sense i think this is about it uh, we are done with this particular problem and I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up uh, like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screen